Research is something that we hear a lot about in our actual undergraduate course and we're told you know, so many times about the actual process of research and everything like that. But um, getting a chance to actually do it hands-on is a completely different experience. I knew I had to do research. It was something I knew I had to do. Um, but that was the problem I think originally for me was that I knew I had to do it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. You get to see what aspects you like and what you don't like of medicine um, and what aspects that maybe you'd like to do and pursue further in your career. The research projects are quite diverse. We have clinical based projects where the students work with principal investigators and scientists within UCD and affiliated hospitals. Well I was at the Centre for Research of Infectious Diseases. What I did there was I worked with HIV, the virus, and it was great because I'd just uh, finished a semester about HIV and we'd had lectures on HIV and then I got to do hands-on work, so that was great. Clinical-based projects focus a little bit more maybe on data collection, writing ethics application forms, filling out patient questionnaires. And the third types of projects are our PACER projects or our patient advocated centred educational research projects where we're now putting our students out with Irish charities around the country. This was the first year that the Irish Cancer Society was involved in the UCD PACER scheme and we had two different projects. The first one was involved with improving the communication of research and the second one looked at the impact of the research that the Irish Cancer Society has funded over the last 30 years. So this is an excellent opportunity to invite medical students to become involved in research at the earliest stage in their career. The research period is eight weeks long and I began in June. And initially, for the first two weeks, what you do is you really get used to working with the team and knowing your whereabouts in the lab. Basically, at the start, I remember thinking this was a huge undertaking. I hadn't a clue what I was doing. But as time goes on, you get more comfortable with the methodology and things like that. And it's quite satisfying to see it all come together as one paper or one journal or, you know, one presentation in the end. For me, the highlight is simply seeing all the stuff around me and doing with all the things that you, you just read about and just put it into work. Like here, we actually got to do it. So following the eight weeks, they submit their abstracts for review for a summer student research symposium where they are then on a competitive stage and compete for the SSRI gold medal in research. First of all, I think the first thing to say is it was an honour. I mean, being quite on frank and honest, I didn't, it's not that I didn't expect it, I put in a lot of work and I wanted to, that, you know, if I did get it or even if I didn't, that I could leave that night and say I did my best. You don't feel as separate from a community of medicine and research. You don't feel like if you walk into a lab that these people are different. You know, it's a team event. I think that, that's the key thing. It's, it is very much a team. The same as Alan, I liked working in a voluntary organisation. I've never been exposed to anything like that before. Well, the highlight of my SSRA project, I guess, was to be exposed to the clinical aspect of my course. A big highlight for me was just producing a project that had my name and it had my input, something that I knew that I had significantly contributed to actually shaping. So research is, is definitely something that I'll be looking forward to in the future. If you're confident in learning the stuff, you'll learn it better. If you're confident in having learned it better, you do it better. And subsequently, when you do go for your jobs, all of that is gold dust on your CV.